Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We've got a nice little image effect for you today if I just refresh this page. We've got a Ken Burns type effect going on our full width image here. Really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this but it's a nice little effect to have on your site and I'll take you through it all. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and I'll delete our little hero section here. Okay, I'm going to go down. I'm going to create a new section. I'm going to make a full width section. You can use a regular section if you prefer, but I'm going to use a full width. And let's grab a full width image. I'm going to use the same one as I used before. And there it is. I want to pop this section up to the top here. So I'm going to hit the little purple button. Hit the little icon in the middle there to get our sections up and simply drag it up like that. There we go, we now got that image on the top. That's great. You can drag the sections by themselves, I just find it easier with the layers element there. All right, okay, now we've got to do a little bit of coding. And to do this today, you need to go to your theme customizer and to your custom CSS. To get there, just go down to your dashboard, to appearance and customize. Or if you prefer, you can go down to Divi, Theme Options. And there's a box right at the bottom here. And they'll both put the code in the same place. So it's up to you. They'll both do exactly the same thing. OK, well, let's go over to Animista now. And we'll grab the code. And obviously, I'll put this link below the video. Here's the Ken Burns effect. And you can have it from top, top right, right, bottom right various different ones. I've used the top one here today. First thing we need to do is copy the class. I'm going to hit the little red button called copy the class there. And I'm going to go to my customizer. And I'm going to write it in here. When you write code, it's a good idea to give it a heading so you can find it easier if you write a lot of it. And for a heading, you're going to go forward slash, star star, forward slash. Anything that you write in between the two stars will not be read as code. So it's great for notes and headings. Okay, let's drop down. We'll paste that little class name. And there it is. Ken Burns top is the actual class name. They've added a WebKit animation to make it more compatible, which is great. So let's actually get the keyframes. And the keyframes are the things that actually make the animate animation animate. So we'll go back here. Roll down, copy keyframes back to the customizer and we'll pop it in there and there it is now once you've done that we can hit the publish now to make this work on any module on anything you just need to give it the class name without that dot there Ken Burns dash top let's just copy that without the dot go back to our page and now we'll give it that class name. And as soon as I do that, this will actually start to work. So we'll go into it. I'm going to go into the actual image rather than the section. I'm going to go to the advanced. I'm going to go to CSS ID and classes and simply paste that name in there. And as you can see, that's started already. So let's save our changes and see what we've got on the front end. See if we need to do any more adjustments. I'm going to save the draft and exit the visual builder. Great. Well, that's worked nicely. It's zooming in just the way we want it to, but we've got a little scroll bar at the bottom here that I don't want to see. That usually means that our content is spilling outside of our website, which sometimes search engines like Google will penalize you for. But that's not a problem. We can easily fix that. Apart from that, everything else seems to be working perfectly. So let's enable the Visual Builder again. What I'm going to do is go into the section, which is our little purple one right here, our full width section. I'm going to hit the cog. I'm going to go over to the advanced, and I'm going to tell it with visibility 
to hide any overflow, well, that's anything that's spilling out of the sides there. So horizontal, I'm going to hide all that. And vertical, I'm going to hide all that. Let's save and try that again. And exit Visual Builder. That's working just the way we want it. And we've got rid of our little bar there, meaning it's not spilling out anymore. That's fantastic. Well, the only other thing you might want to do is slow down this effect or speed it up even if you wanted to. And if we look at the code, it's really easy to do. Let's go back to our customizer. Here's our code. And with our class name at the top here, it's got five seconds at the end. If you want to slow it down, give it a larger number. If you want to speed it up, give it a smaller number. And you want to do both to make sure it's similar on all browsers. So I've just doubled the speed there. Let's publish that. Go back to the page. And there it is. We've halved the speed on that. So there you go, guys. There's how to add a little Ken Burns effect to your Divi images if you want to. Really easy to do. And thanks again to animista.net and I'll put this link below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.